Hello friends, this is Sukhwan Singh. It's a beautiful time to talk to you. The school has got over and I finished off with my lunch and I'm sitting here and all of a sudden it has started raining. You can see the rain. I was just wondering that how come we have different natures when it comes to ourselves and when it comes to others. All of us love to be appreciated, liked, complimented. But in return, how many of us do that when we come across someone doing good, someone doing better? Just the other day, I read an article in which the writer has written about the times when East India Company was getting established in India. One of the Britishers, young Britishers, one hot scorching afternoon, he came out of the company and went around to Rome on the streets of Kolkata. All of a sudden, he saw there was a crowd at, in a shop where the person was selling something made of the clay. So out of curiosity, when he went there, he saw that the person was selling pots. And he asked him, what is this? And the potter said, this is a pot and it helps us to keep the water cool. So as it was very hot summer, this Britisher, he bought one pot and moved ahead. Ah, it's raining a little heavily. Let me move a little this side and try to stay safe for some more time. Well, as he went ahead, he saw that little ahead, another shop was crowded and people were buying again something made of clay. He stopped there. And he asked the seller, what is this? And he said, this is a surahi. And it, it is better than the pot. And it helps to keep the water cool during summers. And the shopkeeper also said that I'm sure you bought this pot from my father who didn't tell you about the benefit of the surahi that I'm selling. My father is like that. He's very bad. He takes advantage of the customers. He doesn't tell them the right thing. He should have guided you to me. And uh, this Britisher, he buys the Surai and takes it along with him. But when he turns on the street, he comes across another such shop and he sees that the seller, the shopkeeper is again selling something made of, made of the clay. And it's raining heavily. I'll change my position. Sorry for that. You can see it's now raining very heavily. Thank you for bearing. Now what happened was when he sees this another third shop where people were gathered and they were buying, he goes to the shopkeeper and asks him what was that? And he tells him that this is tambori. The shape of the tambori was similar to surai, but it had a small pout. And the shopkeeper told that this pout helps to fill the water and also to take out the water without wasting it. So it's better than surai. And the third shopkeeper saw the, the surai that the shopkeeper had bought from the previous uh, potter and he told him that, well, I'm sure you must have bought the spot and the surai from my father and from my elder brother. And he tells them further that both my father and brother are very selfish. They do not see the benefit of the customer. So here you are. If you buy this tambori, you will be benefited. Now the Britisher buys this tambori as well 
and takes them to his home and next day he goes to his boss in the company that is East India Company and narrates them his experience of having come across the potter from whom he bought the pot then his son from whom he bought the surai and then the second son from whom he bought tambori and then he tells them that I have to share something what I have in my mind and the captain said well go ahead and he tells them that it will be very easy for us to rule over these Indians why the captain asked and he said these people are very intelligent they come out with all the creative things that we are unaware of but yet one bad quality that they have is they are not able to appreciate each other they are not integrated because here you have just one three members from one family not appreciating each other so it will be very easy for us to rule these people by taking the advantage of their not being integrated and then the captain that evening sat at his table the tale tells us he sits at his table and takes out his pen and writes to his boss in England and then the rest is history that we all know of we were ruled by the Britishers for more than two and a half centuries so this tale teaches us that the sooner we start liking appreciating complimenting others the better it will be for us when we do such things when we appreciate others when we like them when we compliment them we create a good atmosphere and you know what things come back to you they are like whatever we do whatever we say whatever we think they're all like the boomerang they come back to us if we say something nice it a time will come when someone else will say something nice about us if we compliment someone today tomorrow someone else will compliment for to us if we love people people will start loving us and it's vice versa it's 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 the other way around also not vice versa it's the other way around also if we think bad for people people will start thinking bad for us if we hate people people will start hating us sooner or later so don't live with a negative set of mind live with a positive mind and see that sooner or later the world will start loving you and liking you too so i hope you heard me out in this uh, particular video i hope you uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't so far and share it with your friends bye bye for now